Hello, Curran here. This video is about building this map where you can select the countries and also if you click on the selected country it goes back to nothing being selected. I'm going to start by forking this interactive choropleth map example and then I'll rename it to map with selectable countries. In this example, when you click on the color legend, it shows the countries that match that color on the map. But what I'd like to do is change this interaction so that when you click on a country, it selects that country and that country becomes the thing that's selected and everything else gets grayed out. The reason I chose this example to fork from is because the Choropleth map already uses the general update pattern and it already has the capability of showing certain things as highlighted. I'm going to clear out this old readme here before I forget. So what we want to do here is have it so that when you click on a country, that country gets selected. So the first step is let's make these countries clickable. Over in our Corapleth map.js, we can add an on-click event to our country paths. So on the merged enter and update selection, we can say dot on click and we can pass a callback function. And for now, I'll just say console.log clicked. Looks like I have a leftover console.log, so I'm just going to get rid of that. But now if we click on a country, all right, it says that clicked. Great. All right, so on click we're logging that it's clicked when you click on one of these countries. So far, so good. But before we go any further, I would like to address this um, pointer issue. See, when you hover over these color legend items, you get this nice hand pointer, but that doesn't happen on the countries. So let me just stop and make that happen on the countries, because I think that's an important affordance that tells users that they can click on these things. So over in our styles.css, we're setting cursor to be pointer for our ticks. But really what we should do is set that for our countries. So we can say dot country. And now cursor pointer is applied to our countries. All right, now they really feel clickable. And now that we're going to be adding this click interaction, I think it's sort of redundant to make them red when you hover. So I'm going to get rid of that block right there. So now they don't turn red anymore, but they feel clickable. All right, now let's make it so that when you click, it sets the state in our unidirectional data flow pattern. To do this, we need access to the fact that one of these countries was clicked in our index.js, where we invoke the map. So therefore, we should, instead of console.logging clicked, we should invoke a callback that's passed in through the props something like on country click. And instead of passing clicked, we can pass in, uh, well, I believe we get D, the country data element as input here. So we can just pass on country click of D. On country click is not defined yet. So I'm going to go up to the props and unpack it from the props on country click. And then over on our index.js, when we invoke this map, which is right here, we can pass in that prop. And there's nothing defined in this scope called on country click. So I'm going to define that up here. Let's say const on country click equals a function. And this function takes as input D, which represents the country that was clicked. So in this function here, I'm just going to say console.log D. All right, now when we click on one of these countries, let's see what happens. All right, it console.logged this feature. But you know, what we're really interested in here is just the ID of this. So let's say console.log D.ID. Now when we click, we just get this ID of the country. And that's what we want to store as the currently selected country. So up here around line 20, we've got our state. 
these mutable variables. I'm going to add another thing to our state called selected country. And to be clear, I think I'll call it selected country ID, because this is the ID of the selected country. And then what we want to do here is, on country click, we want to set this state and then call the render function again. So instead of console.logging d.id, we can say selected country ID equals d.id. And then we can invoke our render function again. Now when we click, it sets the selected country ID and then it invokes the render function again. And to keep things less confusing, I'm just going to remove the logic that deals with clicking on the color legend. Because we're going to essentially replace that interaction with this new one where you can select the country. So I'm going to delete this on click and also the selected color value part of our state just to keep things simple. And now down in our render function, we should not use on click anymore when we call the color legend. So I'm going to delete that on click. And also selected color value is not defined. So I'm going to delete that as well. And also when we invoke our choropleth map, instead of passing selected color value, we can pass in the new piece of state that we have, the selected country ID. Now we need to take advantage of this new prop within our choropleth map and display the selected country ID as highlighted. So over in choropleth-map.js, when we unpack the props, I'm going to delete this selected color value, which we're not using anymore, and replace it with selected country ID. Now down in the rendering logic for the country paths, we need to modify how the opacity is computed, because right now it compares against the selected color value. So we need to change this logic here to instead of using the selected color value, we should use the um, selected country ID. So we can say, all right, if the selected country ID is equal to not the color value of D, but instead D.ID, then set the opacity to be 1. But again, we need to consider the case that there is no selected country ID. So let me sort of backtrack because there was some interesting logic there. If there's no selected color value, so we want something similar. So if there's no selected country ID or, and this is where we want that logic that we just came up with, or the selected country ID is equal to D.ID, then set the opacity to 1. Otherwise set it to 0.01. And I think right now the code is breaking because of this line here. So I'm just going to comment that out just for now. Something is broken. Let's see what it is. Selected color value is not defined. Oh, on line 29. Yeah, OK. So instead of using selected color value, let's use selected country ID instead. Now let's see if it works. The moment of truth. If I click on a country, Boom! It appears as selected. And if I click on another country, all right, the other one gets selected. Sweet! It's working. All right. And there was some little bit of logic. Here it is. Setting the highlighted class. Let me bring that back and think about what this needs to be. I think we just need to use the selected country ID instead. And then check, is the selected country ID equal to d.id. Now when we select, we get that nice stroke back. So even if we select, you know, a brightly colored country, we can see its outline pretty clearly. All right, we can select the countries, but one thing that is still missing is going back to no country selected. There's no way to do that right now. But I think what should happen is if you click on the currently selected country, it should select no country meaning it should invoke on country click and pass in null or undefined. But let's pass in null. We can put that logic in here or outside, but I think I'll just put it in here. So the logic could be this. 
we call on country click of D if D is not the currently selected country ID. And I think this is the same logic that we want here. So let's just use if there is a currently selected country ID and that selected country ID is the same as the country that you're clicking on, then we should invoke on country click and pass in null. Otherwise, and that in this else case is where we want to just pass in D to on country click. And let's see if this works. If we select, same as before, if we click again, what happens? We get this error cannot read property ID of null. And that makes sense because we're trying to call uh, d.id out here in index.js. See here in on country click, we're using d.id. But you know what we can do is just, instead of taking d as input here, we can just take id as input. I think that would solve our problem here. So back where we invoke that in the Coropleth map, instead of calling on country click of D, we can say on country click of D.ID and unpack the ID in here. Now let's see if it works. If we click on a country, we're good. And if we click on that same country again, all right, it goes back to nothing being selected, which is what we want. All right, sweet. That's our finished product. We can select countries and unselect countries. That's all for Map with Selectable Countries. Thanks for watching. Take care.